Hello everyone and welcome to another Victoria 2 video. You're probably wondering why this isn't the regular Victoria 2 screen. And that's because I'm doing something very special today. I'm going to be randomly selecting a new nation to play every five years in the game. Um, we're doing a country roulette style uh, campaign today. I've never tried it before, so I just, I'm really curious to see how this goes and how fun it is. And as you can tell by this very, very hard to see wheel, we have the tags of every single nation on the spinner. Every little slice has the tag of a nation on it. And that nation will be roughly what I'm playing. And when I say roughly, I mean by the fact that even though this is every single nation that I can release and play as in the game, I'm probably not going to be releasing the nation because I want I want to just I want to keep the world intact as much as possible. I don't want to be dismantling, you know, countries that are doing successfully. So if I land in a country that doesn't exist, I'm just going to play as the country that's already there. Unless it's the same country. If it's if I get the same country, then I'll just I'll just turn again. I feel like if I do every single tag, like if I release every tag I see when I get the country roulette, it's just going to be, the world's going to be a mess. The rules I'm doing today for this country roulette, number one, if it lands on a tag that's not released, I'm just going to play the nation where that tag would be. And the second rule is that if I land on the same one again two times in a row, I have to spin again because I'm not doing the same country two times in a row. I'm very, I'm very curious to see what tag I get. For the first few years of the game, I'm going to go up to 1840, and then that's when I start the five-year thing. So let's go. Let's see what I'm going to get. I can't even see. I can't even see which one's come, uh, come in. Let's see what's, which one is that. Hey, the two Sicilies. I love this clapping. I'm getting a huge round of applause. And that's actually, that's actually, I thought it was going to be way worse. Some, like, I thought it was going to be some really dumb tag, but this is actually not that bad. I can actually, you know, do some stuff if I want to. Yeah, I guess we're playing as two Sicilies, so let's uh, get started here. <sighs> so what am I going to do for the first four years of the game? Of course, the standard tradition in, in every single game is to tax everybody and have 100% tariffs. And let's uh, lower that navy and that, and that army too. That army's a bit expensive. And, you know, we can give these nations a good head start. So uh, let's uh, let's give Campania, Puglia, all, all good head starts here. Now, I don't really know where I'm going to go first, but it's probably going to be somewhere that's not too far. Uh, so I guess for the first place to conquer, I'll just go for some place in Africa. See, that wasn't too hard. Susa Salise was actually is actually one of the easier nations to play in this game. I got lucky because when I said every tag is on that wheel, I mean every tag. And we are gonna annex Dahomey. There we go. And now we basically can't do anything because we have too much infamy. So now we just get to sit around and basically do nothing. Actually, no, we don't get to do exactly nothing. We can build some factories. No, oh, I guess we'll even give them a little bit of a. Uh, Prestige boost. We'll do civilized mission. And look at that. We're already number 11. And it's only two years in the game. Look at that. Beautiful. As two sisters, you actually have a pretty sizable population. It's just that you have low literacy. It's kind of like Russia, but for Italy. And oh, look at that. We we have a special flavor event for two sisters as well. So uh, yeah, we can get even more prestige. Okay, we're, ne we're nearing the end of our four years. And... Now, officially, we have to move on to a new nation. And uh, as two Sicilies, we actually did quite a lot. We, you know, we conquered the homie. We con, we conquered the homie. So let's see what our next uh, nation is. Okay, on to the next tag. Let's see what it's gonna be. Wow. Whoa. Yeah. This is this is a great great tag to play as. I'm totally gonna be able to do a lot as uh, Saxy Weimar. Where even is Saxy Weimar? I know it's one of these tags here. I just have to keep clicking them until I find them. And no, oh, wait, where are they? Oh, there, there they are. Okay, Saxy Weimar. What a beautiful flag. The black stands for something. The green stands for grass. The yellow stands for P. You're probably wondering what what am I gonna do as Saxy Weimar for the next five years of the game? And uh, honestly, I don't know. 25% terrace. This this is not good. You need to have it at 100%. Uh, can we do something? Um, landlock, so I'm pretty sure we can't do much. Um, I could humiliate somebody. I just like conquest on them. Um, would it even be possible to get Prussia up to back me? Probably not. Should I try? Let's, let's see, let's see what we can do. They will not accept. Probably because they have too much infamy now. Apparently Prussia is not supportive of me conquering Saxony for some reason. So it looks like we're gonna just have to, uh, settle for humiliating the Dutch. Looks like we're in the clear. You liars. Absolute liars. They didn't join. Because the Prussians lied. And now we're gonna die. Um, thanks a lot, Prussia. They even gave them access. Wow. 
They're so mean. Now, the reason I probably shouldn't have declared a conquest on Saxony, because um, if I didn't do that and I just did the War of the Dutch, the Prussians would have joined. Because I had so much infamy that the Prussians were like, no, we can't even join this war. Make sure you don't have too much infamy, because the AI will do that if you have way too much. No, I just realized why the Dutch didn't become a great power. It's because, it's because of me, because the two Sicilies became a great power. And they're all, they're falling out of great power status now, but I actually made them strong enough to become a great power temporarily, so that's kind of neat. Yeah, we're gonna save here, and we're gonna see what we get next. Hopefully it's not some stupid tiny German tag again. Ooh, what is it? Ooh, Rio Grande. Oh yeah, this is the one in Mexico, which, uh, I don't know, Mexico's gonna be a bit hard to play, considering that, you know, we're playing as them quite late, and they probably did pretty bad tech, so well, I guess we'll have to find out. Okay, so let's start as Mexico here. Mexico is probably not doing too well. Somehow they're a great power. I didn't know that. I didn't know they were a great power, apparently. Okay, we need to get this unit pretty much down here. We're gonna have a pretty major war with the U.S. soon. Uh, what are we, what are we, what are national Kurdish soldiers? I mean, that's not awful, but that's probably not good either. Uh, let's encourage just intellectuals. I think that's gonna be a smarter decision. Uh, are we getting immigration? We're even getting immigration, which is pretty impressive. I just gotta get these guys out of here, because this is not a good spot for them. I'm gonna get them to Albuquerque here. Well, here we go. And uh, this is gonna be a bit complicated and very hard. I'm gonna try my best, but this is not gonna be easy. Just remember the fact that you have terrain that you can utilize to your advantage. And I did, I was able to research army professionalism. So we are going to have a military tactics advantage, I think. Um, these stacks aren't fully done yet, but they're going to be mobilized. This will be our mobilized stacks that we can utilize. And we're going to not want to directly confront them. And our best defending dude needs to be on those mountains. And we're going to lose California, which is another is a fortunate side effect. Yep, they're going right for it. Are they going to go for it? Still? No, they won't. Okay. Okay, let's let them attack that one. You're going you're gonna to have to defend. Your only chance of winning. Oh, we're winning that battle. Yeah, at this point, you're going to have to play very slowly and very carefully. There's no U.S. armies in sight, at least close by. So I'm going to see if I can maybe kill that one. I got a pretty bad roll there, it looks like. I don't want to attack them in the mound. That's too costly. Hopefully, we get enough replenishment. I'm not too sure. I'm going to go to Salt Lake City. I think that's my only hope now. Okay, I'm going to need this unit here. Okay. Oh, not even bothering. That would have been a really nice sack wave if that you know, other unit was there. Okay, these, this is pretty much equal strength. Oh, Republic now. Look at that. A lot of these American armies are stretched super thin. Oh, man. Even that, I can't even kill. Oh, I got really unlucky with rolls. That's why. I just got really bad rolls. Wow. I mean, the one thing I am doing is I'm giving Mexico a whole bunch of uh, forms by extending the war out longer than it really should have been. Now, I'm going to start not being able to fund my armies. And that's going to be an issue. White Peace? I That's a win right there. That's a win. Okay, hold on. I actually, I don't want Mexico, I don't want Mexico to lose California, so I'm gonna actually extend the time a little bit. Okay, California's re-annexed. Okay, we extended Mexico by a few months, but I really wanted to see Mexico succeed. That, that was actually kind of fun. Hopefully we get another cool country next. Okay, let's see what we get. See, it better be good. What is that? What is that one? Damn, damn, damn. Dama. Dama Garam. Damagram. So that's in Africa. So, uh, cool. I wonder what their position is right now. Let's find out. Please explain why the AI is encouraging bureaucrats, and we already have way too many. Probably not a good thing to do. How civilized are we? Zero percent. And obviously Sicily could go for us too, because um, I did give him a colony. We actually do have a writing system, so this shouldn't be too bad, but unfortunately, it looks like instead of accepting Western winds, they accepted uh, isolationism, I think. So this is probably not going to be very easy. Oh, yeah, was my ally. And it looks like I'm kind of trapped. I'm really limited for options. There's no way I can kill Sokoto. It's just impossible. I'll just be killing my own nation. And this nation's already kind of dead. They already kind of screwed up. Well, I guess see you in the next four years. Because uh, not much I can do with these guys. No, Mexico just gave it up right away, man. They didn't even bother. I worked so hard and then they just were like, nope, we're gonna, we're gonna give all that up. Man, what a huge, what a disappointment. Somehow, Two Sicilies was able to uh, get a whole bunch of South Italian pops here. So that's, that's really neat. I mean, look how many, look how many there are over here. There's already the majority here. It is now January 1st, 1855. So let's start with another nation. What nation are we going to play this time? Monaco. Interesting. Getting some good winners here. Now, unfortunately, Monaco is a tag where the only way to actually play as them is to have a lot of patience. And unfortunately, five years is not enough time. But yeah, let's start as Monaco. Monaco is that little speck right over there. If I can click on it. There we go. 
We're not making much money here in Monaco. I can try to ally France. Maybe they can try to get me out of Sardinia's puppet status. That'd be awesome. Oh, I could build a railroad. Cool. Oh, looks like Sardinia won that war, which means they're going to just railroad Italy pretty much. Yep. I guess my wishes came true because uh, I can become free now. France, you better sit, you better give me freedom. Oh, let's go. Now, now, next step. Get France to like me. And let's see if I can take a Chinese treaty port. That, that's, that's the next goal. But if I can get a treaty port, that would change the whole course of everything. Oh, what do you want? I don't think I'm going to join that. I don't think I'm going to join that. Oh, remember how I said, oh yeah, I can actually try to conquer stuff now, now that I'm free and France is my sphere buddy. Yeah, do you notice something? Yeah, France has no armies. So now I can't do anything. Um, they still have a navy, which means they can still transfer units, but now I have to wait. And the AI is going to suck at building units, so. Oh wait, they got cut down the size, didn't they? That's probably why. Damn, that's rough. Okay, well, uh, it's time to start the uh, next, next nation. Please be something good. New Mexico. Uh, that means we're playing as the U.S., so I guess we can do some interesting stuff now. America! And, uh, good old America has, uh, closed factories, as expected. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait, this is Civil War time. This is gonna be fun, isn't it? Where the hell is my army? Because I basically need to delete all the, uh, ones that are Dixie. I'm expecting a fairly strong confederacy, considering the AI control the U.S. So we're gonna just you know, casually delete all those units. Federal States of America. <coughs> Oh, time for the civil, civil war. We don't have Pierce. Okay, we have to get that right away. I have to get the U.S. back on track here. There's no engineers. It's so weird. I wish I had more time to kind of restructure everything, but I just don't. Oh, what do we have for... Oh, my God. Don't encourage that. Do we even have enough intel... We don't have... Whoa. Wow. Intellectuals are so low. Well, technically, New Mexico is the Confederates, but I already committed to playing the U.S. If it's there, when you, it has to be there in H60. We're going to be cheering for the U.S. here. And Anaconda plan. And these guys move them back over here. I need them to attack something dumb. Like this unit. I want them to attack that. Yes, attack that. Oh, look at that. The French gave us the Statue of Liberty. How nice of them. Even after their entire country got sieged down by Germany and Italy. This is going to be a big battle. I must have I have to have a good attack. Yeah, I do have a good attacker. Holy crap. I mean, I was going to check that battle out, but I have to do. I have to fix this because the glitch happened. But yeah, look at that. That was... Def he's attacking defense five these are gods man what the hell not really smart of them to attack a mountain province i mean good luck <laughs> yeah amos barnes five five defense and that ter awful terrain modifiers that should do the trick amos barnes is just destroying it on the battlefield right now that's pretty much all the confederate armies right there uh thanks to amos barnes we swiftly defeated them found some Beautiful gold in, I in Idaho, the best state. Anyone from Idaho watching this? Oh, so please explain why railroads are just not allowed in St. Louis. I I just always wondered that. You can't build railroads in St. Louis for some reason. Even though it says it's a forest province, which implies that it should be allow railroads. And there we go. Unite the nation. That's done and dusted with. And now I can build even more states. Time to do the Spanish-American War a little bit early. And the Dutch are in the war too, but who cares about the Dutch? They're basically, like, weak and worthless. Like, who cares? Okay, where, where's Mr. Five Attack? I need him right now. Pretty much all the actual generals in our reality are, like, at the bottom in comparison to these dudes, these legends. And defeated. I um, wouldn't be surprised if the Dutch try to land units over here. Actually, let, let's let them fight me. They don't even have a general. Very interesting. Bangor. Oh, shit. Bro, the Dutch actually sent units, bro. What the hell? Okay, let's hopefully they attack that unit and they're dumb and stupid Dutch brains. Yep, there we go. Dumb, dumb, dumb and dumber attacking, attacking this dumb province. And instantly dead. Get absolutely owned. Okay, that should give me enough war score to piece this out, right? I mean, that, that's gotta be enough. I want this war to end um, while I still have a chance to oversee it. Okay, that, that was pretty fun. But yeah, now we can move on to the next country, so... Hopefully we get another interesting country to actually do stuff in. Okay, let's see. What will the Great Wheel give us this time? Newfoundland. Okay, so Newfoundland is part of the British Empire still. So because of the rules I'm doing, you know, no releasing nations. So I d do actually have to play as the UK, which is boring. Ew, stinky. They don't, what the hell? They, they're even above their ship limit. Yeah, I don't know what the British are doing, but they have their ships going everywhere, man. I know why the AI always fails. Budget always sucks. Just tax people. What's so hard about taxing people? Keep, it's like super easy to do. All right, one million artisans are not getting their needs. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? 
I literally don't even know what to do as the British. Can I just not play as the British? They're boring. What do I even do? What do I even do as them? Like, do I just take a chunk out of France or something? We're gonna take we're gonna take chunks out of France because I don't care. And we have literally the biggest army in the entire world, so I gotta do something with it, right? Actually, now nah, we got him. I don't. I want to conserve. We have we have we have we have four more years left. We have four more years left to take more land. No, I do. I do own a little bit of Sicily, but what if I owned all of it? Yes, we get the decision to name Lake Victoria. What's a stupid name? Lake London sounds stupid. What a stupid name for a lake. It's named Lake London after the immense amount of garbage that was found at the bottom. Let's see if I can take Sicily here. I'm waiting for Italy to do something dumb. Do do it. I don't. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. And oh, look at that. Italy's willing to give up. Interesting. Very cur Very curious. Also, I lost like 60 prestige because I didn't feel like going to war with Sarawak. Could expand Gibraltar to greater Gibraltar. Okay, time to uh, cause more chaos. So I feel like I lost way more units than I really should have in those battles. What kind of general do they got? I'm, oh, I'm getting zero rolls. Like, are you serious? I like I getting zero rolls? Are you kidding me? I can't even believe how bad I'm doing. Like, I've never done this bad on a straight crossing battle before. I guess we'll see what the British do about this. Yeah, there's my time's up. Okay, let's see. What's the next nation I get to play? Nassau. I think I get to play Germany then. Yay. Look at that. Oh, uh, yay. We're playing as the uh, NGF. We have no money. Oh, I remember France. That changes everything. The French don't even have, like, anything. They got, like, almost no foundational army. Maybe I get, I get to form Germany. Wow. I get to do everything in this game, man. I get to do the Civil War, Mexican-American War, and now this. Let's see, did this- what happened with this? Ah, uh, they didn't pursue it. Ah, uh, boo. Okay, sure, we'll- we'll- we'll do that. Germany, yay, look at Germany is done. Germany is formed now. Okay, I don't really know what to do as Germany, so I'm just gonna give them some new colonies that maybe they can use. Uh, Germany had almost no navies, so I had to- I had to build a whole bunch of transports. Yeah, although this isn't connected, so... So we're gonna do this. They should give up pretty quick. I'm also gonna release Luxembourg. There we go. I'll do that. That's an, that's gonna peace. Be steel. And it's really gonna suck seeing Germany be completely ruined by the AI once I leave. Let's see what we get this time. Please be good. Colombia. Colombia. I don't really know what Colombia's position is right now, but Probably not too good. What's going on here in Colombia? And we have a pretty decent army. I don't know if France has recovered yet. Um, they have ships, so I'm assuming they have recovered, at least slightly. So I'm going to actually see if I can maybe get a treaty port from China using French support. Cool, you have all this army tech, but what about culture tech? Uh, I really, I really hate the AI. Why did they put the port here? Okay, let's see if I can get the French in this war. They have honored it, so they will do most of the work for us. God, is the AI gonna play this little game forever? Or is something gonna get done? But uh, France is slowly seizing down Taiwan, so maybe something's gonna happen. Okay, there we go. Now I can get a treaty port. And I'm obviously gonna go for Hainan, since that's the biggest, most convenient one for me to get. Oh, France, you did all that work for me. I guess now you expect me to join your war. Uh, let me see who's in your war. Oh. Yeah, I think I'm gonna say no. Yeah, Colombia was kinda boring to play, but... I did give him in a slightly better position to maybe do something later, so... Please get a country that is interesting. Please! It's at least... Technically, it's not in a row, but it's too close. So I'm gonna establish a new rule. It has to be 50, 20 years, so another, like, 20 years before I can play the nation. Yes, I am making up rules as I'm playing the game, so... I'm just gonna spin again, and we're gonna see what we get now. Okay, we're not doing that, because... Wait, we're not doing Germany. It's too close. Let's get another German one. Bolivia. Oh lord, please save me from this, oh my god. You can't do anything. <laughs> Literally, you have no options. I have no hands, I have no arms. Yeah, we need to definitely encourage some intellectuals, and we're just gonna be chilling here for quite a while, doing almost nothing. Um, I don't like that. Brazil, why the hell are you trying to take a state from me? Uh, I'm gonna try to stop this. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be possible, but... Okay, that should save me, because the US just feared me, which means that if they want to go against me, they gotta go against big US... Looks like Brazil didn't even care about the U.S. joining. Um, we have really good defense, but we don't have any command principle or any good army tactics, which means we're pretty much useless. Nah, look, my 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 army sucks so bad. It's gonna get stack wiped. Yeah, I just got stack wiped. I couldn't even hold. 
Argentina's the war leader? How is that even possible? Oh, also, it looks like we're out of time. So I get to conveniently leave. Please don't get a country in South America. I want something interesting. Yakutia. If you think I'm gonna reorganize Russia's armies, um, you're out of your mind. Oh, wow, Russia's, uh... Russia's doing, uh, bad. Wow, we even have a decision. I wonder what this decision does. Oh, okay. Well, uh, we're going to check this off and we're going to pretend it doesn't exist. Uh, it does mean I can build a bunch of factories wherever I feel like it, so that's cool. Ooh, I don't know why all the troop compositions are just, like, slightly above what they should be. It's kind of annoying. Uh, I would help you, Serbia, but unfortunately, uh, you're just gonna have to wait, like, 180 more days. Maybe I should, maybe I should take a second state, too. I mean, that'll increase Russia's infamy, but what do I care? I'm not gonna be playing Russia in five years. Yeah, so, I decided I'm gonna take another state from Austria. Even though it will cost a bunch of it for me. Okay, I think that's going to be the end of this uh, war. Let's just pose peace and accept this deal. And there we go. The war is now over and we have decisions to rename them as well. So now what we're going to do is... Uh, I have no idea. Yes, back Albania. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. This is why I played Russia. Oh no, what have I done? Germany is going to completely destroy Austria now. I probably just accelerated the collapse of Austria. I didn't, really did not want to go too hard as Russia, especially pre-Great Wars. Big wheel, decide the nation once again. <sighs> okay. That means I'm playing England, isn't it? Oh, uh, looks like they don't actually they're not on the map yet so i guess technically this does mean i have to do a respin let's hope it's a nation that's not uncolonized what is it gonna be what is it gonna be what is it gonna be joe minjin where the hell is that i don't even know I, I, this is actually the first one i don't know where it is figured out where, where it is it's in china it's a warlord nation why do we have so many research points and why are we not using any of them? Why don't we have this? That definitely helped us out. Oh, well, we should appoint this dude. That's totally a good idea. And now we're almost westernized. Also, I completely forgot that I took this as Columbia. This is the event for the Boxer Rebellion. If you do this one, you gain prestige, but then I pretty much everyone hates you, so you're gonna want to protect the Foreign Legion, which will make everyone hate you, but... Luckily for me, uh, all these modifiers will not matter. So yeah, don't do this one. Just don't do that one, and you're fine. Um, ever your population will completely hate you, but honestly, that's a good. It's a good thing. Let it happen until you until you westernize. And now we can westernize. Look at that. And now that whole modifier is gone, I think. But now we have a whole new problem. So. You gotta get ready for that one, too. Oh, I, was, I wasn't really paying attention, and it looks like I went over a uh, day that I was supposed to stop. I, I hope they, I hope they, uh, they're probably gonna collapse, so it really, doesn't, it really doesn't matter. Okay, let's see what we're gonna get next. Lithuania. Lithuania is a split tag, so I can kind of, I can choose which side of Lithuania to play on. I'm gonna choose Germany. I'm gonna see if I can spice things up and do something a little, little spicy oh man germany had one job you're supposed to you're supposed to eat abyssinia before before the british did and now it's too late so now we have this awful exclave of just stuff that i can't deal with these armies are awful uh oh oh <sighs> let's go i guess we're kind of in a bad position and i'm just gonna have to do a quick defense distribution on these armies are so bad Oh, oh, Italy's on my side. I completely forgot. I mean, they might get steamrolled, but I think I'm going to be able to destroy their armies. I just have to quickly stack wipe them all. Okay, France is already willing to give up. Okay, France, you're giving up. They would accept that offer? Sure, why not? Looks like Italy has requested me to join this war. I'm going to do that because I would love to actually take some land off of Austria. Or I want, I want to weaken, I want to weaken Austria enough maybe i can maybe germany can take it i just need them to fall out of great power status so i need their i need their prestige to fall now austria is completely humiliated oh i just caused austria to collapse oh i just realized the crisis over the colony is actually here nope if you're not gonna accept it in my favor the war is gonna be a big war great war started oh what the wait the danish are in the war too Ah, oh, crap. I gotta actually send units over there. Oh, uh, <laughs> no. Oh, this is bad. They're, they're going around my lines. Oh, my God. Thank God. Thank, thank God. Thank God. Okay, they, they like literally left almost all their positions here. So, I'm gonna take do an offensive. No. Ah, this is so impossible to contain. Oh, my God, bro. They, they, no, I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Shit, they can still go through. They can still go through. Only I can send more units. I really can't. There's nothing I can send. Okay, we're improving the front lines. How are you even still here? This is ridiculous. How are you even alive? How? How are they doing that? 
How are they doing that? This is ridiculous. It'd be a lot easier if I actually had proper armies. Luckily, luckily we're done with this, and hopefully I don't get a nation that's dying, which it might happen. Okay, what are we gonna get next? Tuscany. That means we're playing as Italy, so we're still in the war. We're still gonna be participating in the Great War. The Italian army is completely messed up. It looks like France didn't mobilize because there was so such an overwhelming amount of superior, like army superiority that they didn't even, they felt they didn't have to mobilize. But then as soon as Italy pushed in, they mobilized. Now all my army's trapped. Oh, and the war pieced out. Okay, well, I guess we won. Wow, remember, remember all those years ago when I started out as two Sicilies? Now that I'm playing as Italy, I can state this region now because of the original amount of pops that settled in Dahomey. I really wanted to declare war on France or the UK and to take back my cores but unfortunately the truce will last all the way until 1910 because of the great war i won't really be able to do anything i'm going to just declare war on austria that kind of help hungary out because hungary is is winning kind of i mean they're losing hungary's losing very gradually austria is not really winning either they're just kind of avoiding defeating the austrian army even though they probably could considering they have way more org than them it's really not worth doing this war goal at all but i might as well do something yep austria you're sadly gonna die I'm sorry. So I'm just gonna do that. And boom, there we go. I released a nation with two provinces. Pro it would have pro probably been more worth taking it, but it would have looked really ugly. So I decided to just do something different, you know, spice things up. Instead of actually annexing the land from Austria, let's just make the country free. And there we go. Austria is now just regular Austrian. Okay, time to declare war on the uh, Belgians. Oh, they're out of, uh, of uh, Russia. Okay, well, this changes the plan a little bit because now everything just got a lot more complicated. They were literally allied and feared by France. I don't I don't know what the hell happened. I, I guess they had a fallen out with each other. My original plan would be would have been a lot easier because France was a lot easier to kill. I was in Bass Congo. It's only four war score. Hopefully this will be easy. Piece of cake. I mean, they're being dumb. This should give me enough war score. Whatever. I'm actually gonna leave. I'm actually gonna leave that one. That sucks. I'm not gonna lose any war score though. In fact, I probably have enough war score already to win this war. Yeah, I do. I'm getting Bass Congo. I know it's gonna look. I know it looks ugly, but trust me, this will secure Italy getting the Congo. Okay, that's it. As Italy, I guess. Yeah, let's uh, see what we get next. I have to play the British again. I'm gonna have such a fun time. Should be able to build brigades. Nope. We're still disarmed. So yeah, I don't really know what to do with the British. I can't even build an army. Australia, you know what? You know, I, I'm, I'm sorry, Australia, but you're gonna remain under our direct control. This is so stupid. Why am I even doing this? Like, I literally was about to sphere them, and then, I, and then I was just like, you know what? Nah, I'm just gonna eat you now. This is like the biggest middle finger you could possibly do to a country. We, yeah, we need to encourage our intellectuals. We don't even have enough. This province in the Midlands has 0. 0.32. Sicily has more intellectuals. The British clearly don't even know what an intellectual is. I need to uh, teach them civilized ways, I guess. Yeah, imperialism is awesome. Look, isn't it so much so cool? Yeah, that's right. Even when I'm disarmed, you can't tell me what to do. Oh, wait, I can, I'm not disarmed anymore. I can actually build units. Did I? Am I causing enough pain in people's eyes? Yeah. Do I, should I do more imperialism? I don't, maybe I should do more. I also, I just have like a huge death stack of units here. I don't even know why. Oh shit! I didn't want to do that at all. Oh, wait, actually, I guess I was forced to. Oh, damn! The Ireland got units over there already. Oh my god, I hate these units. Okay, Ireland, become puppet. Cool. Oh, annex them. Let's go. Okay, you're, ba you're back under the fold. On to the next nation, I guess. Hey, Magic Wheel, please tell me where I'm gonna go next. Inner Mongolia. Okay, let's get a critical look at the Qing. Cause it, looks, it looks like they're doing pretty okay. Of course, the AI always misses social thought for some reason. Maybe this is why the AI is bad. Yeah, I can do this. I believe. I guess they didn't like that. Kind of death stack a whole bunch of stacks. That first battle went actually surprisingly well. Damn, they just, ah, uh, goddammit, they just stack wiped that unit. Well, at this point, you have to be basically have to retreat. Because we have, I have no choice. I, yeah, I won't be able to hold. It's impossible to hold. I'll just have to white piece out. I'm gonna do white piece. Yeah, we lost a lot of troops. If it wasn't for gas attack, I'd probably be fine. Okay, here it is. I was waiting for a ton of, you need a ton of, uh, milk. See, I think you needed over six to have to choose. So, we could choose this army. Or the Kuomintang. I'm gonna go with the Republic one because I think that'll be cool. And as the Republic, you're gonna notice that yeah, as soon as the next event happens, you're gonna want to delete your entire army. Okay, now this is the event. You're gonna split up into 50,000 countries. So well, here's what you do. You do this, every army, and then press this button right here. And you're like, why are you doing this? Why are you deleting all your armies? Watch what happens to China when I click this button. 
it falls apart. But yeah, essentially, you're going to have to reconquer places. And start with conquering I th up here. Because I think Japan can, like, do stuff up here. So you want to make sure you control that. I have, like, no supplies. Yeah, there's no canned food. Wait, there's no canned food anywhere. Deleting the entire Chinese army was, like I said, it's a definitely do it because other places like these guys will have more units than you if you don't do it. So it's better to do it. Okay, let's uh, declare war. I'm going to just see how much I can do. They're not allied with anybody, so this is usually the easiest one to deal with. It, it really doesn't help that we're also... Uh... Oh, there, there's the 60 units I was waiting for. And now we death stack them. But they should be dying anyways. Oh yeah, they're dying. I'm gonna make a rule to exception. I want to unify China because I don't want to be bored. So I'm going to con I'm gonna continue this one for another five years just because I think it'd be fun. Why the hell did they job? Oh, fuck off. Are you serious? Oh, I was so close to winning that too. Oh, I have to wipe peace out now because I'm not gonna be able to win that. Okay, I don't know what the hell to do now. I'm kind of trapped. I'm so limited in my options. Um, I'm gonna have to just conquer places that can't be sphered, I guess. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna declare war on these guys. If I take out these guys, I'll be I'll be, it'll be easy. Where's their capital? I need their capital. No, it's there? Shit. I'm not gonna be able to do it. I don't think I can. I thought they still had an army. I didn't realize they had no army. This isn't good. Now that they own the capital, I no way I'm gonna be able to win this. Okay, I need to just <laughs> swarm everything. Yes! It worked. Oh my god. Oh, that was so scary. Okay, I essentially confirmed control. Like, there's no way Nationalist China can lose now. Let's just declare war on these guys right now. Okay, perfect. We just gained another huge chunk of China for free, pretty much. And I guess we can move on to uh, Hunan. Actually, we can move on to these guys. Yeah, we have to kill their capital first, because that's where they're going to mobilize. Man, that was a pain. Damn, they just want to get annexed right away. They're about to make a major mistake. Man, they're going for it. They're, they're going for it. Even in a hills province, I don't even care. Yeah, just basically all you have to do to win is just defend. And then there you win. And annex. Oh, and that's really good. We can defend against gas attack. That's super convenient. Now, if I go to war with Japan, I won't immediately die. I'll actually be able to defend against them. Okay, I think I'm good enough to be able to declare the war. Damn, it is way too easy to tr trick the AI. Yep, there we go. Oh, what the hell? The US sphered Yunnan? This is so dumb. Yeah, just move into pretty much every single province you can. And the AI is going to try to uh, outflank you, but don't worry. How? What? Japan has influence with them? How is that even possible? Okay, this is so stupid. How did Japan even intervene in this war? That's beyond dumb. Well, this time Japan can't easily just kill me this time. They actually have to try. If I can piece them out fast enough, I'll be good. Japan, you better white peace. They're not white peace, and I actually have to straight up kill them. Oh no. I didn't even know they could have influence of a country with that high of a population. We're in a much better position to uh, defeat Japan, though. Mobilize all of the units we can. Okay, I think I'm safe. They're just gonna go around all my lines. They're just gonna go around all my lines. No. Stop. Stop. I can't defend any of my borders. Having gas defense really helps out, but I'm getting still ass rolls. I wish I could have gotten over here before it was too late, because then it would have been really easy to defend against Japan, but now it's impossible. Okay, here's the new plan. I have to somehow encircle all these units. I don't even know how I'm going to do it, but I have to do it somehow. I'm going to control China for a little bit longer until they win this war, and then I'm going to pass it on. Oh no. I'm not going to be able to reinforce this battle, am I? Oh, they're, oh wait, they're dumb. They're attacking that. I don't even know why. Yeah, it's... I think we'll be able to win. If all I have to do is just re-siege down here where this lone army that got through is sieging down, and then I'm going to gradually push back Japan. Damn. Hey. Okay. I'm just getting shit rolls. Like, look at that. A zero? How do I get a zero roll? This is so stupid. No. Oh, wait. I, okay. Okay. Hold them off just a little bit longer. Okay, that got stacked wiped, but I don't care. I, they saved the whole rather other battle. The war's being reversed now. Yep, okay, that, I think I might be able to wipe peace out Japan. Oh my god, finally. I can actually I can actually end this war. This has been the most painful war. Oh shit, this party sucks ass. I have to change parties now. Oh my god, I don't want these guys in charge. This sucks. Look how many unemployed people there are. Okay, let's be done with this Japanese war. I got all the Japanese puppets that were being a pain in the ass now. If it's October and they've fucking other parties still get selected i don't even know what to say look no no one supports them anymore they better win i don't even care who wins Just anybody but these guys please what how did they win that how much do we have to uproot their fucking oh my god can i manually change the party holy shit this is the worst party in the entire game i can't even i can't even with this they could have given me this one and i would have been fine because then i would have been able to actually Tax people. It's so bad. Let me do stuff. Please, I would love to reopen all these factories. Oh my god. No. Okay, maybe it was my... I should have gone with the, the army one instead of the, the republic one because this is a pain in the ass. I can't, I can't do this anymore. Oh my god, finally. Oh my god. Now we can do things. We have our anti-military, but I don't even care that we're anti-military. Who cares? 
I can I can tear off people again. Okay, let's get ready for the final and last one. This is the last nation we'll be playing. Now, I don't know where the hell that is, so... Okay, I found out where the Alter Republic is, and it's this little oblast in Russia. That means I'm playing Russia. I don't really know what to do as as Russia. I mean, I guess I could declare war on Germany and defeat the beast. But fact, what is my tech? Okay, my tech's good. Okay, so Russian tech is on par. So this war is definitely possible. But unfortunately, Russian troops are not on par and they're all over the place. I just have to build a lot more units. I'm just gonna have to. Ex I might. I'm probably just gonna extend all this Russian playthrough all the way to the end game. I don't know why they haven't done this yet. That's so weird. It's like this is like one of the most important ones in industry because it's the one that actually helps you your agricultural output. But for some reason, the Russia was just like, nah, we're good. We're good with the piston steam engine. I don't know if Germany will ally somebody. I always have this problem. Once Germany becomes like really big, they just sit there and then they don't ally anybody. Look at this. Why? Why? Why is the AI obsessed with clothes factories? I, I just do not understand this. Look how much these are like costing me. They're costing me thousands of dollars. Look how ridiculous this is. What the hell? Like, I don't even know what's going on. I need to build more furniture factories because we have a shitload of wood. So I better, better use it for something good. But the f why do we have so many textile mills? This is a waste of a province. I mean, oh my God, I'm just deleting. I'm just deleting like every clothes factory. I'm only going to keep one open. That one's actually somehow producing them. I don't think that one's going to be bad. It's the ones that have way too many people in them. Those are the ones that collapse. The ones that just, they're lower, those are fine. The AI that does these weird mass construction of clothes factories. It's just so strange. Yeah. Oh my God. What the hell? Okay, now I'm gonna- now I'm done. That was ridiculous. Uh, I just- I just had to delete a whole bunch of them. Yeah, I can have a pretty big navy. Let's- let's see how, uh, ridiculously large I can get it. So we're ready for war after, like, eight years or whatever. But yeah, now we're going against the beast I unintentionally created by supporting the destruction of Austria and playing as Germany two times. Yeah, it was- it was a pain to fix the Russian stacks. They were all messed up. And I'm not gonna call any of my allies in, although most of them will join. There's not really a point to doing that, so we're just gonna join the war. And only call an allies I want to call in. I was hoping they would attack up here, but they decided to attack down here, which is fine. I could encircle this. Yeah, I just encircled this. Why does that happen? Does anyone have an explanation for that? Because sometimes I do that. I do that all the time, and then that doesn't happen. And then some some games I do that, and then it just happens all the time. Um, I would add East Prussia, but I think I'm going to automatically get at least half of it when I dismantle them, so I'm not going to add it. Yeah, okay, I think I have one at this point. I guess I'll record when I defeat this. Okay, it seems like Germany is willing to give up, which is honestly surprising considering I don't even have enough war score to even technically peace out, because I think I need 70. Please be over. And defeated. Yeah, this mandolin is good enough for me. And there we go. Germany is now dismantled. And we simply want to land back. And there we go. Now everything looks ugly. I don't even know what to say about this. Oh my no, please don't tell me Sweden's gonna get it. It barely even took place in the war. I'm very surprised at how the world turned out. As you can tell, I've, I've done quite a lot of evil to the world, like this. I was hoping I would get like Belgium or the du or the Netherlands or something, so I can kind of like make them bigger, but I kept getting all the bigger tags. Of course, I had fun with the UK. I messed up, I messed up the world forever by taking Brittany and Sicily. And I almost took this from Spain, which would have been hilarious. I'm so mad I ran out of time to do it. Maybe next time I'll be more strict. I, I won't go over the five year limit. I, I kind of wanted to go for Nationalist China a lot longer because that was that was fun. So I kind of wasted some time. I think maybe next time just to increase the diversity. I think I'll make it so I can only play like a great power like once. I would like your guys opinion on all that. Every time I thought about doing this before, I was just like, well, it'll be weird because the AI will mess up everything and it'll kind of be annoying. But it's kind of fun if you think about it because it's fun fixing the AI's mistake. It kind of kind of revitalizes the game. Just simply being able to like switch up the nation every like five years just definitely makes it a lot more enjoyable. Throw any sessions out, I'll play them and I'll see, I'll see you in the next video.